Hey Luminous Jim again. Um, thought of a couple other things that I didn't cover previously, so I'm just going to run through that. Um, wanted to show you with this uh, scrunch, they call them. It's kind of a combination screwdriver on the end and a wrench. So the um, screwdriver end is beveled here. And you can use that for cleaning the guide bar out. A lot of the um, chain oil and sawdust and pitch gets built up in that as you use it and um, it can cause your chain to come off and also your saw to uh, not cut um, straight um, it'll it'll cause the drivers to kind of ride up in the in the rails and um, your cuts will be off so anyways uh, it's one thing to uh, do kind of weekly if you're going to be using your saw quite a bit or whenever you think of it, I guess, otherwise. Um, the other thing I was going to show you, so um, your chain, when you put that on, kind of recommend actually wearing gloves and keeping your sleeves down. I had one guy years ago uh, on a crew out of ground forks here that uh, was sharpening a saw with his sleeves rolled up and no gloves on, and he ended up, the file slipped, and uh, he ended up, cutting his arm right down to a tendon here and just really lucky it wasn't worse so um always always remember that but um anyways um i was just going to show you how the how the chain tensioner works so i'm going to have to take the chain off and the bar off to uh, fit it all in the box but um when you put it back together you're going to want to uh line it up like this okay so this here's the tensioner you want to get your chain around the sprocket here and not just so it's caught in between the sprocket teeth and this washer but actually well onto well onto the sprocket here okay and then um, this is how this uh, tensioner works there's a screw here and what it does is it pulls the post forward if you turn um, clockwise, righty tighty, it works the same on this one, and lefty loosey. Okay, so when you've got this on there, of course, that's going to be on the back side of your back side of your bar, though. But just remember that tensioner is right in here. Okay, and so that's how you're going to retighten your chain. But um, anyways, and then the other thing that you'll end up with is one of these uh, chain puzzles. And you'll probably get quite good at them later on as well. But um, anyway, yeah. So just remember, chain goes around, around the saw that way, right? So your depth gauge comes first, and then the tooth. Okay, it, it comes around that way usually cutting on the bottom. I didn't get into it too much earlier when uh, when I was going through some of the other safety stuff. So I'm just thinking of a few other random things here, but um, they talk about a kickback zone on the saw. That's kind of this area here. Uh, when you're first getting into this, it's always best to cut with the bottom of your bar anyways. If you are gonna have to cut with the top, um, use the section in here that's well away from the tip. Anytime you strike the tip, what happens is the chain's coming around this way and it basically has the potential to, to uh, pinch on this portion and it'll cause it to kick back toward you. The um, chain break idea is that that will help uh, stop it. it. It instantly stops the chain from spinning if your wrist ends up activating the chain break. So, um, when you're cutting, it's always best to have this arm pretty much locked straight and um, and that way that helps uh, with that too. It keeps the saw out there away from your body more. If it's in here, there's too much potential for it to get you before you actually activate the chain break. So, lots of things to think about, but uh, those were a few that, uh, that I just thought of. This uh, scrunch, the other purpose it has is obviously for tightening your bar nuts and also it's the same size as you need for removing your spark plugs. So.
Okay, I'll turn up the rumble on. So, uh, there you go. Okay, bye.